In this video, we're going to look at the first sample photos and videos from the Kandao KuCam 8K, the world's first consumer 360 camera with 8K resolution. Is this really 8K or is it just upscaled? Is the difference noticeable from 5.7K? And what's the workflow like? Is it hard to edit in 8K? We're going to answer those questions in this video. Kandao has released two sample photos and a sample video at full resolution. We're going to take a look at those sample photos and video. And for those of you who are new to editing in 8K, I'm going to share with you a couple of techniques to make it easier to edit in 8K. Here's the first sample photo. You may recall it from the product video. Let's take a closer look. This is an overcaptured 360 view of the photo, not just a zoomed in view of the equirectangular image. This is what you would see if you viewed the photo in a 360 viewer. The white balance is a bit warm, but that's to be expected because it's sunset. The colors are natural like other Kandao cameras, although they're a bit flat. But this is easy to edit in post-processing. Now, if you're a beginner and you want to know how to edit your photos like this, I'm working on a tutorial. When I'm done, I'll post a link to the tutorial in the description. Looking around the photo, you can see it has good detail. The dynamic range is remarkable and you can see the full range of highlights and shadows in the sunset scene. In the future, I'd like to test the dynamic range with even more challenging conditions, but for now, the dynamic range looks promising. Even distant details are preserved, and the sharpness appears consistent in all directions. The stitching is unobtrusive, except that there's a slight blur at the stitch line. So far, the first photo looks very promising. Now, let's take a look at an indoor photo. This indoor photo looks smooth and noise-free, but it seems to lack fine details. For example, this woman's complexion seems too smooth. It could be because she's shooting at a slow shutter speed, as you can see from this motion blur. I'd like to see how this detail looks when it's shot from a tripod. Meanwhile, the dynamic range still looks excellent. There are no blown highlights, and you can also see the shadow detail on this woman's black shirt and hair. Personally, I wasn't as impressed with the second photo, but I think there could be a lot of reasons for like the softness that we saw. So when I get the KuCam 8K, I'm definitely going to test it indoors, both for photos and videos. In the meantime, let's check out the sample video. Here's an overcaptured 360 view of the 8K sample video. The detail is astonishing, and I've never seen detail like this in a 360 video from a consumer camera. Even without zooming in, there's a stark difference in detail compared to a 5.7K 360 camera. However, there seems to be a couple of issues with stitching. First, there's a drop in sharpness along the stitch line. Second, there's some warping even in non-moving subjects. Hopefully, Kandao can improve this. Now, in my previous video about the KuCam 8K, I mentioned that I had a discussion with CEO Dan Chen, and he said that the quality of the KuCam 8K is so high that it's actually comparable to the quality of the Obsidian R. Now, that's a $4,200 professional 8K 3D 360 camera. Now, could that really be true? Let's take a look. Now, we're not comparing them side by side, so it's hard to tell for sure. But to me, the Obsidian R still looks sharper. Now, nonetheless, the KuCam 8K is holding its own against a camera that costs seven times more. Now, that's amazing. So, the KuCam 8K has great image quality, but what's the workflow like? For many of you, this is going to be your first 8K 360 camera. And I have to be upfront with you, it does require more resources from your PC or Mac. And in my case, I tried it out on a laptop with an i7 7th generation 
um, and uh, GTX 1070 SLI and my PC was having a hard time playing back the video in Premiere. So there are two things that you can do. Now one of them is to mark a segment that you're reviewing and mark it in and out and then render in to out. So that's going to render just that portion of the video so you can review it. Now the other thing I wondered is what if we downscaled the video from 8K to 5.7K? In theory that should still look better than a video that was shot natively at 5.7K because you're effectively super sampling. So how does the 8K video compare to the super sampled 5.7K video? Let's check it out. You're now watching the 5.7K downscaled video. It still looks pretty detailed, doesn't it? Now let's compare side by side with the 8K. I'm purposely not gonna tell you which is which. Can you tell which one is the 8K? It's the one on the left. The 8K video on the left looks a little bit crisper, but the 5.7K super sampled video comes really close. Handout tells me that the desktop app has the option to export the video as 5.7K or even 4K. So this could be a good option for those with less powerful PCs. So it looks like the GooCam is really legitimately 8K and it looks like it may take the crown for best image quality for consumer 360 cameras. But we're not going to be sure until we do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Instafix 61X and GoPro Max. And meanwhile, there are other questions such as, what's the workflow like? And is it easy to use in real-life everyday situations? And looming in the background is the next Insta360 camera. Is it going to leapfrog the KuCam 8K? In my next video, we're going to go back to the GoPro Max. Can you believe it's already been out for a month? Well, I've been shooting with it for the past month, so this is going to be a comprehensive comparison and review. It's going to be a unique kind of review that you've never seen before, and I promise you're going to learn a few new things. Meanwhile, Kandao said that they're sending the KuCam 8K next week, so hopefully I'll be able to compare it soon against the GoPro Max and Insta360 ONE X. So if you want to learn more about this exciting new way to shoot your photos and videos, you know what to do. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you in 360.